Wow. Um, I am very excited about all of this. I slightly am a little worried for solo players like myself. I play a lot of the game solo. Some of this stuff sounds like it's going to be very difficult to adapt as a solo player. Specifically talking about boarding. Because if you looked at it, you either have the harpoon that's going to be able to shoot over and you're going to be able to board that way. Uh, you're going to have that wind thing that's going to make it so that if you're a solo player and you, know, like you have a galleon chasing you, you're not going to be able to get away anymore if they have that and stuff. As well as just that harpoon uh, gun is going to be crazy. With that all said though, I am fine with the meta changing. I'm actually really happy about it. Because if you think about it, we've had this double gun meta that I have complained about in the past for a long time. That I, I've never liked, you know, the whole double gunning thing. I think this is really going to change stuff up. Because you're going to have people that are like, shoot, well, I could use daggers and a flintlock. That's great. Or I could go sniper cutlass or whatever. Um, and I think just, just that alone is going to be so huge for the game. This is the first time we've seen loadout changes ever. It's like we've never seen it happen before. I was already really excited for Season 12. Season 12 seems like that kind of update that's going to be like one of the best updates in the game. Because it's similar to updates we've had in the past, like the Heart of Fire, where we got stuff like the Chain Shot added and everything. With that though, I was not expecting- I was like, okay, Season 12 is going to be the thing I'm most excited for. And then they showed more. And they showed Season 13. Season 13 looks absolutely amazing. Like, it doesn't, I'm hoping there's more to it. It's just, you know, I I, I, do, I hope there's a lot more to it. I think there's going to be. But just the fact that you can fight Flameheart's ship and then you can take over it and sail it. And then you have skeletons on their deck act as your crew is mind blowing. I was not expecting any of that. And just look at the size of it. We, we talked about in the past, like, People have for a long time wanted like a man of war ship, like one of those really giant ships. You're getting that. And it's actually gonna work in a balanced way. They figured out a way to make it work because the whole problem in the past was you can't have like this giant man of war ship uh, with having like six people on it or something because you know it'd just be super unbalanced in the game and you would have like the limitation of the server and stuff. This is a way to get around it, and that is so cool. Um But honestly hearing this all i'm kind of like most excited right now currently for season 14 because if y'all any of y'all have watched like my gameplay and stuff i am very much a stealthy type player that's even why partially why the channel is named agent murden because like i kind of think like agents as like kind of being stealthy like um spies and all that kind of stuff so that i kind of wanted to lend that into it because that's usually how i play most games whether it's fortnite Spider-Man, whatever, I'm more of a stealthy type player. So hearing that season uh, 14 is going to be really focused on stealth, it just sounds really cool. I'm super excited if they actually get that chest thing to work, because that would be so much fun if you're just like, you get picked up and you get brought into someone's ship and you're just hiding inside their chest. That's amazing. Um, and then you also have like, just that harpoon, like the, not the harpoon, the uh, blow dart thing, where you can have like have special effects. I'm very curious how that's going to work, if that's going to be another loadout into it. Because here, the one problem that I can see with this is that, like that harpoon gun that we get and this blow dart thing, if they're both new loadouts that so they have to replace, whether like your cutlass or flintlock or something, it's going to be a lot harder to use that. Um, because like, for me, I really rely on like the flintlock cutlass uh combination or the blunderbuss cutlass combination so like to lose an item slot would be pretty bad but if it's an additional thing to everything else then that would be really awesome uh before i talk more about all that let me go ahead and read some of what y'all have been posting in here i know joseph put this before it started but he's asked about if i if think anything about gray mare was going to happen i think he's quite a good villain uh villain um Grey Marrow, I like a lot. I feel like he will be someone that returns much further in the future. I don't think they're going to do him, um, anything with him for a little bit because I think he's just been used a lot in the game already. He's been used in a lot of like the Halloween events. He's been used obviously still at the Fort of the Dam. 
and the tall tails and everything. So I think they'll try to focus on Flameheart and that kind of stuff for now. And then they might return to him maybe like two years, maybe three years from now. If, you know, they're still doing this kind of stuff, hopefully. And then, uh, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but I'm going to just take a guess like Osiki, potentially. Uh, it says, hopefully the preview, they previewed the skeleton bombs and the grape shot. Yeah, well, obviously they did. Uh, I like Grape Shot as a better name. I wish they kind of went with that instead of the Scatter Shot. But I think the Scatter Shot's going to be super awesome to use. That's another thing that I'm a little bit worried about as a solo player because they said kind of the intention with that is it'll cause more holes on your ship. So I could totally see if you're like a Galleon or even just like a two man sloop going up against a single person sloop, having, you know, one hole compared to four holes is going to be a huge difference. So that'll be interesting to see. If you're someone that plays solo, you're gonna have to be a lot more careful now playing the game. You have to be kind of doing better distant shots, like kind of staying away from them because the way that the scatter shot's gonna work is you have to be a lot closer for it to really uh, be accurate. But a lot of this is gonna help a lot with the hourglass battles, like reinvigorating that whole thing. Cause these are just gonna be all new tools that really helped bring that game mode and making that good again, to be honest. Um, and then the skeleton bombs are, I think, are really, really neat. Especially even, even if you don't even take the gameplay aspect of it, just imagine like you just throw it down on your ship and you have your own skeleton crew, essentially. I don't think they're gonna be able to shoot cannons or repair anything for you. I think it's just like they fight, but just think about like the role-playing aspect of it. like. Put on the skeleton curse or put on like a skeleton costume then spawn the skeletons on your ship and you just get you know get your screenshots or whatever it just it would be something really cool i think joseph says uh, you think the harpoon gun can be exploited for our skelly thrones for example i don't know if i'd say exploited but it would make it easier to get to them uh, and i don't think that's a bad thing honestly the skeleton thrones have been in the game for so long that if you need a different way to get the accommodations sure why not i think you know it'd be nice if like when that update comes out uh, like even just like the season 12 update is going to be the same thing so you're going to have the harpoon there it'll make it easier to get to a lot of those already it would be nice if they did something where if you had gotten that accommodation prior to these updates come out you have like a uh, special title that goes with it but honestly i'm not too worried about the build the skeleton thrones were just like a kind of small little event addition that just kind of stayed in the game so it's not like a big deal in my opinion if someone uses this to get that flame on it pirates life 2 yep no no announcement for a pirates life 2 um harry i don't think we're gonna get that if if we do end up getting that it will be a pretty long ways for that um i would love to see a, a tall tale or a set of tall tales focused around flame heart that could be done in combination with what they're doing with the gameplay other aspects like with season 13 That'd be really cool to see. Uh, Sunspop Squarepants says, I love getting a Assassin's Creed Black Flag update for Season 14. Yeah. Okay, it took me a second to understand what you're saying. But yeah, Season 14 is right now currently my favorite thing. Even though I think Season 12 is going to be amazing. And Season 13 looks like awesome in terms of like I was not expecting it. But it's going to be so cool now that I can fully see Flameheart actually coming into the world with his ship. I don't, they didn't talk about it, but think about how cool it would be if Flameheart was actually on his ship and then you like could board the ship and fight him like, you know, in a sword battle or something. I mean, that would be amazing. I don't know if they're going to do that. They didn't mention it, but that would be really awesome if that was a, um, a factor in it. But going back to season 14, when they started talking about stealthy gameplay and stuff, that really made me like tune into it. I'm like, oh, you got me <laughs> intrigued. Yeah, just all the stuff they were talking about that even this like the trap idea traps would be really cool to um, have like imagine if you are tucking on a skeleton for or something and you have like all the loot in a pile and you just go and you put like a trap underneath the treasure uh pile and they go up and walk on it try to grab the um, chest and then they just get trapped in something or i don't know how it would work if like it holds them there for a second or something or or if it just instant kills them i don't know I'd be interested to see if they just like different types of traps that they do with it. But there's so many possibilities with what they could do with all of that. Yeah, Grim Arrow is too overused right now. I don't know if I'd say right now he's too overused. 
uh, I think they used him a lot back then for like older updates, but the stuff that he's, a lot of the stuff that he's been used in is still existing in the game, like the Tall Tales and the Fort of the Dam. So it doesn't really make sense to add him to another part. I, I would be interested in seeing a new character get added, or even something like with Bell. Like, we talked about Bell before the um, preview event started. I would like to see a kind of an update that focused on something with Bell. Imagine if they did something kind of similar to what they're doing with Flameheart for Season 13, but they had, like, another ship that was, like, either for the Pirate Lord or Bell or something, where then you could have, like, these two massive um, Man of War-type ships that could go after each other. That'd be really cool. Um, they didn't talk about, like, what that artifact's going to be. Like, they, they mentioned in Season 13 that it's going to be, like, a new artifact that you can get while you're on the Burning Blade, but they didn't say what that was actually going to do or anything. So, like, usually, like, the artifacts like that, the horn thing that can blow the wind, or, like, the Skull Siren Song, those are all different artifacts in the game, and they usually come with some ability. So I'm very curious to see, like, what they do with that. Um, and the flame thing that, that just popped up on the screen, which made me think of it, having, like, a weapon that's in the front of your ship and having, like, the double flame flamethrowers is such a cool... <laughs> it's just so cool. I know I'm saying cool a lot in this stream, but all of this is just really awesome stuff. Um, Joseph says, How do you think the wind thing is going to work if it is a treasure item or a tool? I think just like how uh, the Skull Siren Song works or the Ashen Wind Skull, it's going to be a treasure item that you can use up a certain amount of it. It'll basically have a certain amount of charge and then you can sell it. And I believe it probably won't lose value when you sell it because they've made that change with the Skull Siren Song as well as the Ashen Wind Skull where they don't lose value if you use them. So that would be really great. The thing that I'm curious about is how easily accessible that um, wind thing will be. Because honestly, if it's super accessible, it's going to be kind of annoying in gameplay. Just because if you think about like right now, the game is really well balanced for the ship types where, okay, if I'm on a sloop and I have, I'm have i being attacked by a galleon and I need to get a little bit of room to like repair my ship or something, I can go against the wind and I'll be okay for a little bit. Whereas now that's completely changed. Now they can use that wind um, tool to basically push themselves up and either get either further past me or at least get up to me. And even if they can't like fully catch up with me, they can at least get close enough to harpoon and then they can just walk all along the harpoon line and then, you know, board and anchor that way. So the meta is definitely going to change a ton this year. Not only with Season 12, but just across the board with all the different updates. Spongebob says, hopefully Flameheart is on his ship and we can get to fight him and join his group. Yeah, that's what I was mentioning earlier. I think that would be really cool if we could like fight him. And then it could be something where it's like, if you defeat him in battle, then he lets you take his ship out for a bit and kind of do like what they were talking about. Uh, the fact that you can just like take ownership of the ship, such a great idea. Imagine if you could do that with the like, skeleton ships or something like the skeleton fleet and you could take like a prize ship or something it is awesome. And it sounds like it's going to kind of work like what I talked about in that uh, like 10 update ideas video that I did a while ago. Where I talked about having like a grand maritime fleet that like kind of roamed around the world. And then you could choose how you wanted to attack it. It kind of sounds like this is going to be similar where it's just going to be the Murning Blade is going to spawn in. And it's just going to be sailing around and then you choose to attack it or not. And if you do and you win you could take you take over the ship essentially. So that's really cool. I love the grapple gun and the harpoon boarding. Yeah, the grapple gun is really cool looking. I'm curious if that's going to be like another weapon slot. Because they said it, it has like ammo type and stuff. I'm wondering if that ammo recharges at all. Or like how that whole thing's going to work. Because that's going to be very interesting. And kind of factor into my thoughts on it. So that would be cool when that does release. Yeah, the ancient lore is going to be interesting. So they talked about like having like that those ancient volts. For season 13 with Flameheart and everything. That's kind of like where you go and get that artifact that we were talking about. That sounds very similar to where the adventures left off. With um, Briggsy and Tasha and all of that. So I'm curious if those are going to be like the same volts. And that's going to like tie into the storyline at all. Which that will be very interesting. Season 13 Burning Blade ship looks like same ghost ships Burning Blade. Uh, yeah. I, I don't really. I think it looks a little bit better than the ghost ship burning blade 
one, but I don't really remember it too well. It's been a long time since I've done the Glue's Fleet. I don't even think they have the Burning Blade in it anymore since they removed Flameheart from it. I think the skeleton camps are going to be new islands or change to old ones. Yeah, so that's interesting. I saw that and I was like, where are they going to put those? I have a feeling they're going to be new islands. They look very small, in my opinion. So it kind of looks like they're just going to take... There's just going to be new islands that fit somewhere on the map. Where that's going to be, I'm not sure. I'm hoping it's not just on the edges of the map. I'm hoping it's like kind of integrated with the rest of the world. But they might change some of the islands. Like, it wouldn't be out of the question. I could see maybe them changing some islands, maybe adding some new ones. Who knows what it could be. Uh, like they did in the past with the Fort of the Dam. If y'all recall, before the Fort of the Dam was introduced, that island was just a, another skeleton fort. And then they basically rebranded it, re, you know, texturized it, made it, you know, all spooky and everything. So they could definitely do something similar to that. Hopefully it's none of the islands that I really like. But it, they look, they look very small in the pictures that they were showing. Uh, so... I am not expecting, like, honestly, this kind of looks like a skeleton fort in my opinion, but it doesn't match, like, any that I recognize, like, in terms of, like, the layout of it. So, I don't know, I could see it being off the edge. You know what was, would have been really cool, though, with this? Um, I was thinking about when they were showing it off. Like, imagine if they had Reaper Islands, like, if you pledge your allegiance to Reaper, Reaper's Bones, when your ship spawns into the game, you always spawn in out of one of these Reaper Islands. And then if you're pledged to, you know, if you're not pledged to anything, or if you're pledged to Athena's Fortune, then you show up at the normal outpost. I think that would have been really awesome. Uh, sad that they didn't do that. The, seeing this, though, just makes me really wish that when we had that Lost Sands adventure back two years ago, I wish the Reapers won so we could have seen Golden Sands turn into one of these reaper outposts. I like Port Merrick a lot. I think it's a really cool outpost, but it would have been really interesting to see it turn into like a reaper outpost. Honestly, it, it, it would have been really good for them to have done for season 12 when we're getting all these different updates to the harpoon. Like they could have made it so that um, you could customize the harpoon. I talked about that. I think it's been about a year now or something since I talked about it. It would be great for this game because the game is so focused on like the progression. Part of the progression is like your cosmetics and everything and just kind of getting a big library of cosmetics to show off and stuff. New cosmetic types would be great. Obviously we're going to have these new daggers that are on the screen here that they're probably going to have new co uh, cosmetics to go with the new skins and everything. Same with the double flintlock barrel and probably that harpoon gun. But I could have totally seen them do something with the harpoon on your ship and have that be able to be customized or something. When we get to season 12 out, the whole game's going to change. The meta is going to change so much with season 12 and even just the rest of the year, but really season 12. I think the double gunning meta is going to come to an end because think about it, like the reason you'd want to double gun right now it kind of is accomplished somewhat with the double barrel flintlock because with the double barrel flintlock you know you can do like the two shots or you can hold the charge and get like a one really powerful shot so if you had that in combination with say a cutlass then you're basically having the same functionality that you have right now with the flintlock but just an even more powerful one if you have the skill to match with it i want to see a new sea monster what are your thoughts yeah i talked about that in yesterday's video james about basically Having like a monster hunting campaign that would be an expansion to the Hunter's Call, where it would kind of act similar to like how the Legend of the Veil is, and it'd be more of like a story campaign, and you'd have different voyages within that. So like the first one would be like a Megalodon um, sea monster hunt, and then you kind of work up your way. Like and you have like maybe like a crab monster that you could fight. Obviously you'd have the Kraken still. I, I could maybe even see like a Siren thing, or even like something like this, like a Medusa typing type thing would be really cool i i'm really hoping that we see like a lot of story line stuff with season 13 with flameheart returning like it'd be really cool if they did something similar to like what fortnite's doing right now for their new season they're doing like these little short clips um that basically 
show different characters and like the return of Midas and everything. And these clips, like, they kind of go hard, not gonna lie. <laughs> and I would love to see Fortnite do something like that. Kind of like what they did with the adventure trailers. They could do something similar. And just, I'm just gonna show like this Midas one, like. Like, this is just cool. Like, if they could do more trailers like this in CFDs, and like for like Flame Hearts Return, it would really hype up everyone, I think. Just have like season 12 trailer. But like a fully epic thing with flame heart coming in and maybe like have flame heart ship rising from the water as like his return or something i don't know but they did like a trail like that and they have like this one where it's like a full cinematic clip i would love to see someone like this return to see these they did with the adventures for a bit um and like like a orb event and everything it'd be cool to see more stuff like this in the game Season 13 looks like it's in the lead. Or, yeah, it's still in the lead here. Uh, season 12, season 14 is still kind of even with it. I think season 12, I, I think people are going to view that as kind of, in some ways, a boring update. But it's going to be so good for the game. Because it's it's boring update in the sense that it's like it's not Flameheart returning. It's kind of giving new tools, but it's not like adding like a giant... Flame Heart ship, or it's not adding like new locations or new voyages or anything, but it is going to fundamentally change the game. So I'm very excited about that. This is what, this is the kind of updates that we've needed in the game for a long time. This is what like season nine, 10 should have been. So this is going to be really great for the game. I'm very excited. Uh, season 14, like I feel like the hard part with that one is you can't really see much of it because they don't have too much like the show of it yet a lot of it was just them talking about like the blow dart and like the traps and everything but we didn't see anything with it so i think it's a, a little bit harder to be super excited about that but for me as someone that's really like a stealthy type of player and i enjoy you know hiding on people's ships tucking and everything these kind of new tools that they're adding for season 14 are going to be fantastic James asks, uh, what are you most excited for about this preview? I'm gonna, let me first start off with saying like what I th am most excited about with each of the different seasons, because I feel like that's a little bit easier to break it up. With season 12, I'm most excited for the updates to the harpoon. Being able to harpoon another ship and being able to run across it, or even just going on the different islands or whatever, it's gonna be making trans, um, being able to move around so much better and it just looks like so much fun i can't wait to be basically when you have someone that's running away from you and you're trying to board them or whatever you're just going to be able to harpoon them and like run across it and they'll be able to shoot back at you and everything but it's just going to be so much more fun to do that kind of stuff rather than just endlessly chasing them or trying to do a quick turn and shoot off and try to board them it's going to change that meta a lot which i'm really excited about with season 12. Season 13, honestly, I'm just super excited to just be able to sail around on the Burning Blade and being able to use that and have like a skeleton crew with me and everything. That is going to be awesome. And then season 14, honestly, it's a toss up between that blow dart uh, weapon that they were talking about and the hiding as a chest and then like being able to get picked up and moved around and stuff. I think hiding in the chest is gonna just be so funny in terms of like clips and stuff like i could totally imagine like me tucking at a for the dam or skeleton for or something and just like hiding as a chest and then getting kicked up and carried my only worry about with that specifically is that if it's acts as like kind of like how the barrel hide emote works if it's not if it always looks the exact same uh, then it's going to be easy to tell the difference so like let's say it always looks like a castaway chest then all you have to do is just make sure you don't either pick up any castaway chest or you try to use your sword against any castaway chest that you see. Now, if they make it so that it's kind of either random or you could choose which type it is, so like you can make it look like you're a chest of fortune or you can make it look like you're a marauder chest. If you could change that, then that will be really fun to do. And then you won't be able to trust any treasure and it will really help with that stealth type gameplay they're talking about. I think that kind of wraps up my thoughts 
on all this. This preview event was a lot better than I was expecting. So much better than just giving us like a vague roadmap of like what's to come. Being able to see all this stuff. I wish we could have seen more of like what season 14 was going to be, even if it's just like concept art. But, you know, my imagination is loving all the ideas that they were talking about. So I'm all excited for all of that. But with that all said, that's pretty much it. Thanks to all of y'all for hanging out and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye y'all.